Hi friends, welcome to this quick tutorial that's going to show you how to log in and access ebooks and e audiobooks for kids and teens from the Belmont Public Library by way of the Minuteman Library Network. First thing I'll start with is just make sure you have the permission of a parent or guardian to use the device that you're using and to access the App Store. It's going to make life a lot easier and if you have any questions along the way, I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Today we're going to be using the Libby app, which I already have downloaded in the upper right hand corner of my device. The app is free and it looks pretty much the same across multiple different devices, so no matter what you're using, you should have a similar experience. So let's get started. I'm going to tap on where it says Libby, and it's going to ask us a series of questions in order to get logged in. First question is, do you have a library card? I'm going to tap on yes here. However, if you don't have a library card, you can get a temporary online one by going to the Belmont Public Library website, belmontpubliclibrary.net, and clicking on the link at the top for My Account. There, on the My Account page, you'll find an option at the bottom that says, Want to use the library? Sign up for a library card online. But for now, we'll use the one that I have. I'm going to search for a library just to make sure we're selecting the right one. And to do that, I'm just going to type in the name of our library. As you'll see, there are a bunch of different Belmont Public Libraries. We want to make sure that we're selecting the one that says Minuteman Library Network at the top, and in the address section it says Belmont, Massachusetts. So we'll tap on that, and now it's going to ask us to enter our library account details, which include the 14-digit number on the back of your library card underneath the barcode. I have mine here, so I'm just going to go ahead and type that in right now. Then we'll tap on next, and I'll ask for a password. I have mine already set, however, if you forgot or need to set a password, you can use that same My Account page that I mentioned earlier. It'll give you an option to reset your password if you've forgotten it, and also gives you instructions on how to create a password if you don't already have one. But for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and type my password in right now. Okay, you are signed in. So it tells you a little bit about how many loans you have available and how many holds you are able to place on items in the collection. So we're just going to tap on Next and we'll get started exploring all the books that are available to us. As you can see, there are a number of collections that are highlighted on the front page, but these are mostly for adults and we're interested in stuff for kids and teens. So I'm going to tap on where it says Explore on the right-hand side here, and we'll see the Kids and Teen Guide, which is actually listed first on the left-hand side. This filters the items based on the audience, which you can also set if you go to the Preferences section, which is on the left-hand side here, and select Juvenile and Young Adult for your audience, and then tap Apply Preferences. So there's a lot of cool collections that are highlighted on the front page, including New Stuff, Trending Now, Top of the Charts, and my personal favorite, Available Now for Kids. There's also an Available Now for young adults. And these collections are really great if you're looking to pick something out right now that you want to read and you don't have to wait for it. But let's say you already know the book that you want to, you want to read. Well, at the top, you'll notice that there's a magnifying glass in the right-hand corner, which you can tap on, and that'll let you search for a book. You can put in an author, um, a title, or even a series, and it will return whatever is available. Uh, I know that I'm looking for a book that's called The Book of Nonsense, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in right now. And then just tap search. So it gives you a bunch of options based on what you type in. Um, the first one happens to be the one I was looking for, The Book of Nonsense by Edward Lear. And what's really great is I know that it's available because right next to the book cover it says Borrow, which is different than if it were checked out, like Can Hens Give Milk, the next book over, where it says Place Hold to the right of the cover. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow the book, The Book of Nonsense, because I know I want that book. And it gives you uh, a little bit of information telling you how long you'll have the book checked out for, and how many books you already have checked out. 
This is my first borrow, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on borrow. And since I'm super excited for the book, I'm going to go ahead and open it up right now so we can take a look at it. This gives me an option to either download it to a Kindle device or send it to a Kindle device or read it within the app. Since I'm using my iPad and I'm comfortable reading on the iPad, I'm going to go ahead and read it in Libby, this app. Just like with a print book, we start with the cover and then you can swipe from right to left in order to move through the book pages. Here we are on the first page of the Book of Nonsense. If you tap in the middle of the book, it gives you a bunch of options in the top right hand corner, including this set of three bars here that will let you search the book in total, uh, look at separate chapters, any bookmarks you may have placed, or reading settings, which can be very helpful if you wanted to change the color of the page, for example, or if you wanted to change the font that the book shows up in including a dyslexic friendly font, if anybody would need to use that. If you like the settings that you have, just tap done and it saves it as you continue to move through the book. If you wanna see everything that's on your shelf, you can go ahead and tap on where it says shelf, down the corner there, and it'll give you a sense of what you have out as a loan and what you have on hold if you tap on those two separate items. You can also tap on the option down below where it says library that will take you back to the page you were just on, and if you tap it again, it'll take you back to the home page, where you can go ahead and search for a book again at the top, or continue to explore through the various guides that are available on the right-hand side. There's a lot to explore in Libby, as a very large collection, so if you have any questions, or if you get stumped along the way, be sure to reach out. You can reach us at the Belmont Public Library website, which is belmontpubliclibrary.net, and just click on the quick link that says Ask a Librarian, or you can email us directly at belmontpubliclibrary at gmail.com. Have fun exploring, and most importantly, happy reading.